All right, hi guys, Brian here. Um, so here's the thing. Um, circumstances of the day. Yesterday I took, took this uh, big ass long hike um, all the way up in the hills to the stall house. Um, situation today uh, has put me for the next hour or so um, right in the area where I'm right now, uh, which is at the corner of Horn and Sunset. Um, and uh, what I want to do right now, you can see there's the old Power Records building right here behind me here. Uh, but what I want to do right now is, um, uh, when, I, when, when I had to come down here, uh, I thought, what am I going to do to kill some time? Uh, maybe I can make a video if there's anything interesting. Um, and so here goes. This is just um, where I am right now. So um, I'm just going to stand at this corner. That's the fun thing about, I say fun. I don't, I don't mean that in a, in a, some of the stuff I talk about is not fun, let's be honest here. But um, it's just interesting. Let me just put it that way. Uh, so with that thought in mind, um, for where we are right this second, uh, you've got the, the uh, Tower Records store here. Now, a lot of people know the Tower Records store. Um, a lot of celebrities, you know, they did a lot of record signings here. That's where a lot of people, you know, a lot of things like that. Uh, that building behind it, by the way, uh, that's the Tinder building. That's the, where, that's the offices of Tinder. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that's made out of old parts of the Disney Concert Hall. It's the same material, it's the same shape. Everything about it says it's Disney Concert Hall. And I'm wondering if, uh, I, gotta, I gotta look that one up. Anyway, so as I make a little turn here, we look up the street here. Uh, what you've got up there is the Shoreham Towers. Now the Shoreham Towers is where um, Diane Linkletter, the daughter of Art Linkletter, uh, TV show host, kids say the darndest things, things like that. Um, his daughter, Diane, uh, on October the 4th of 1969, uh, just shy of her 21st birthday, I believe. I think she was uh, Halloween of that year. She would have been 21. Uh, anyway, uh, she apparently had been doing acid uh, and decided uh, to take a little walk out the, uh, the um, kitchen window of apartment number 610 uh, and fell. Um, and... Um, he did this whole big thing about how LSD is bad and how it killed his daughter and all this kind of stuff. It's just very, very interesting. Uh, this building right here, this is the original Spago. That's the, the first Spago of Beverly Hills when people came here after the Oscars. That's the first Spago. Now down below it's a little coffee bean and upstairs, I don't know what the hell's going upstairs. They've been redoing that thing for a while now, so I don't know. Now across the street, you got, um, they've redone the Rocky and Bullwinkle and they put them back up uh, about a, a couple of blocks up the road there was where Jay Ward Productions were, uh, the creator of Rocky and Bullwinkle, things like that. This goes down Holloway. Holloway, if you go down Holloway, uh, a couple of blocks you've got where Shelley Winters and uh, Marilyn Monroe used to live. And then uh, just past that is where Salminio was murdered. Then you got this building here. Uh, they, look out. I need to go out and mow the building. Uh, but they've redone this building. Uh, this used to be where Carol Co. was. This is where Jose Menendez's office was uh, when he was murdered by, he and his wife Kitty were murdered by their kids. Uh, you got a lovely view, look at it, you got a lovely view looking out through that way. That's kind of nice. So again, that was Carol Co. Now before this building was here, there was something else here. Um, um, what's his name? Um, Mickey Cohen who basically ran the Sunset Strip, um, he had a shop here and it was like a, a haberdashery. And um, the, the odd thing about it, was, it was his way of um, laundering money. Uh, I, one of the articles I read about it, the guy who ran the place said, all I know is buying boxes. But boxes would come in, they'd be, cash would go out, in and out, stuff like that. All the suits in this haberdashery were only fit Mickey Cohen. Everything they sold only fit Mickey Cohen. So eventually that all went away and now this is here. Uh, book Soup is next to that, which is a great, 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 great bookstore. Um, and then right next to that, by the way, if you can see it, that is a rare, very rare bookstore they go into right there. Uh, that is an amazing little place. Uh, if you ever want to go next to Book Soup, it's really, really cool. Now, just down past that, as you'll notice, you've got the Turner Liquor Store and you've got the Viper Room. Uh, Viper Room used to be called, among other things, it was called Filthy McNasty's. Uh, it was a nightclub owned by Mickey Cohen. Uh, it's where Phoenix died of a drug overdose. Um, all that kind of stuff, all, all of that. It's just everything that happened right there. Um, and then you're going down towards the end of the Sunset Strip um, and heading out into Beverly Hills that way. 
but all of that is what you just see. Uh, and then looking up the rest of the sunset. Tra oh. Oh, I want to show you this. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna break my own rule here. I'm gonna walk across the street here. Uh, this is in the news here. By the way, so remember that used to be Spago. Uh, this is new. As they were building it, Beverly and I had no idea what the hell they were building. I thought they were building part of like a metro station or something like that. I don't know what the hell it was. Uh, but that is a billboard, and it's big, and it's bright. And it pisses off the people in the neighborhood because it goes on all the time. So again, that used to be Spago. Uh, at one time, there was a beautiful painting of uh, Elizabeth Taylor's eyes uh, right up here. It was really, really, very, very, very beautiful. Um, but these people up along here, uh, apparently they don't like this billboard because, um, yeah, it's a problem. Um, it's, 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 it's loud, let's say, in, just in brightness. Um, one more thing, as long as I'm here and I figure, what the hell? You know how I am. Sometimes I just can't shut up. That green building right there. Uh, that green building is Mutato Musica. Now, Mutato Musica, if you saw Night at the Roxbury, uh, that was the uh, end of the movie. That was the upside down, the inside out, whatever that, th that club was at the end of it. Uh, what that really is, is Mutato Musica. That is owned by the Mothersbaugh brothers. Uh, Mothers Bob Brothers do music for Nickelodeon shows and stuff like that. Um, but also, um, it's Devo. That's all. They're, they're Devo. So I just there's a little view up the strip going up that way. And uh, that's all I got. I just wanted to share this with you. Um, I had a little time to kill and uh, I wanted you to see this. So uh, coming to you from from what I believe should be theoretically basically the center of the Sunset Strip. It's kind of, to me, it's, you know, this would be the place if, if we had like a Times Square, and it, it'd be more here than down on Santa Monica, but that's me. Uh, anyway, coming to you from here, um, we'll talk again. I, I, I'm sure I'll figure out something to talk about.